I've uh, decided I want to build a outdoor cedar um, ice chest uh, table and so I uh, found this old cooler and removed the this drain spout down there. I'll rig that up later once I know the dimensions and um, took the back top off uh, which was uh, the top which was attached by, at the back by uh, eight screws to uh, four on each side and now I'm going to cut off uh, the handles which are attached here so that they're not screwed on the inside so um, an easy way to do it I found is just take a, a sheetrock saw knife um, which has a nice flat surface here so I can saw it and, and I'll saw those off and file down anything that might be sticking up there and uh, uh, that'll do it for the, the cooler and until I get ready to drop it in. Um, I cut the legs down after I did a little rough planing um, and I cut the legs down to 36 inches. Uh, these are rough 2 by 4s and um, I'm going to put two of these together for each leg um, and uh, I'm going to use a pocket uh, hole jig here. That's a Craig jig and um, cut probably three pockets uh, holes on uh, each leg and then I'm going to use a little bit of the outdoor waterproof glue as well and that should make pretty pretty sturdy bond. so you can see it just makes a nice little pocket hole and that will get screwed into the other leg and I'm using outdoor two and a half inch uh, pocket screws and I'll sink those in there and that'll pull this up and then with the glue in there to once that sets it'll be pretty pretty stable anyway so I'll work on the legs um, put, do four of them and then we'll move on to the next step. Kind of flip the cooler um, over uh, uh, on bottom up and that way I could size the frame. That would be the top frame. And um, so I, I got that all sized up and cut it on the miter saw. And while I was at it, once I cut that, um, I mean the legs would go on the out, outside here. Um, but I know I'm going to have to have um, another frame for the bottom to hold the cooler in place. And I'll probably want a, a, another frame for down towards the bottom of the base of the legs. And I can um, put some cross boards that and use that as a, as a shelf later on. So as long as I've got these boards on the miter size um, uh, all cut and uh, I've sized those, I went ahead and, and cut uh, two other uh, groups that'll uh, one will be for the bottom uh, brace and then on the miter saw I, I cut uh, a third one and that'll be the, the shelf for the bottom. So since the miter saw was all set up to size I just left it set up and went ahead and cut all three at the same time. Okay I've been putting the frames together. The top one's already together. I flipped the cooler upside down so that's on it. This will be the bottom frame for the cooler. Um, same dimensions as the top. Um, and what I did, I cut some slats to put in the, the middle here and that'll support the bottom and the weight of the cooler and keep it from falling down through the bottom. I, I've done pocket holes here again. Um, got the legs all together, uh, the top, and just to kind of show you how that all goes together with the bottom. Uh, obviously, you want to flip it upside down. Uh, that bottom brace will hold the, the cooler. Uh, we've got the top on, should be level with the top of the cooler uh, with, without the actual cooler top, which I've yet to put on. That's a whole separate step that I'll show you later. Um, but in a nutshell, that's, that's kind of how it'll look upside down. I'm ready to put the uh, bottom shelf on. And what I did is I cut four blocks all the same height 
and I put them on the inside bottom and that'll do two things. It'll give me the exact height uh, for a nice level shelf on the bottom so I don't have to worry about trying to measure all the way around. Uh, the other thing it'll do is if I decide I want to put casters uh, wheels on the bottom, it'll give me uh, a little more uh, area to, to screw into and make sure the, uh, the casters are, are attached pretty solidly. So you know, basically, uh, once again, I, I did my um, joints here, my uh, uh, pocket, pocket holes. that in, shape, in place and uh, put the other one on the other side. Uh, and the pocket holes you won't see them anyway because uh, when I start putting the cedar boards across uh, they'll, they'll cover that, that hole nicely and you'll never see it. Okay, that's what we got so far. Um, got it all framed up. And got to put start working on some cedar siding on it. Uh, I actually need to pick up another 2x4 to make the top because um, that will be what goes on the, on the top here for the for the lid. That'll, uh, so I've got to get another 2x4 and cut it down to, to match the top there and, um, and I'll screw that in and get some hinges and stuff and probably a handle or two um, that'll work for that and I got to figure out if I do need anything else I need to figure out the, the spigot um, okay I put a little skirt on the top uh, just took the, some of the um, cedar fencing that I had bought and uh, ripped it down so it was just a slight overhang um, just to kind of give it a little better appearance on the top when I finish it and now what I'm going to do here is cut boards to make a little skirt to cover the top and I'll cut them all down to here and size them to go across um, and I'll do that on all four sides Okay, I've been putting the cedar skirts uh, along the sides. Um, I used the five and a half inch width here, and then I had to size one down for the middle. It was a little narrower. And um, for these sides here, I actually had some leftover stuff that I had uh, used for another project. It was uh, it was a remnant. So, so these these are a lot narrower. They're probably maybe an inch and a half or so wide and so I just cut those down and used them on the side I hate to waste anything so um, and then the other thing I'm going to do um, and I'm going to start uh, kind of dressing it up a little bit um, I'll, I'll put the these little skirts in uh, on the top and on the bottom around all four sides and just just dress it up just a hair um, I think that'll that will look good anyway so I'll show you that when I have it done. Okay, the last uh, little bit of woodworking will be the top. Um, I got the two by fours um, uh, sized for the top as far as width and length, but uh, now I've got to get the depth right um, and I'll scribe that and then go over and uh, run it through the table saw to get the, the right height. Um, I went ahead on the all four sides and as you can see I put a little a little bit of uh, trim boards on. So, got that done. So now it's just the top and I guess the important thing here is to remember that your top has to, uh, the lid has to sit down inside. Uh, you want it to be nice and, and tight to keep all your drinks closed. So make sure make sure you got that seated really well because you, as you can see um, that's the depth there um, that you'll be cutting and basically this will be all be scrap and um, that'll just be flush with the top and then I come along on the top and put all cedar boards 
Now it's time for me to try to figure out the plumbing for the drain hole. Um, and all these will, you know, be a little different in how they connect. Uh, this one here um, goes in the, the slot hole there, and then it threads from the other side. So um, that, that's what seals it. So I had to find some different things here that will thread up to it. And I'm not quite sure about the distance I want to go out uh, through there um, to come out to the other side and uh, put a on and off faucet on there. I think that'll look good and work okay. Um, so I just went to the local home hardware store, uh, went into plumbing, got some fittings. These are half inch threaded. Um, and uh, it was hard to find PVC. I could have used um, galvanized, but galvanized tends to sweat, especially in the heat um, and when you've got cold water hitting um, a hot or a warm pipe. Um, so I thought I'd stay with PVC. To get the right PVC size that would go into this, uh, I had to wander around, did some exploring, and actually found uh, this stuff in the, uh, uh, was over in the irrigation section. Uh, so I think that'll work out okay. And then, of course, got some Teflon tape for the, the threads that I'll put on. Um, but the first thing I need to do, mark the hole where that goes through. I'll drill a pilot hole on the outside, and then I'll drill a hole probably about a, a three-quarter, one-inch hole on the outside. Okay, I've uh, put the spout back in, uh, the plug, and I've rigged up a drain plug. It'll come out the other end. I'll probably put a little uh, decorative piece of cedar on that to bring it out a little more so it'd have a little less of a relief there. And um, then I'll put the faucet on. Um, on the top, I set the top on here of the cooler so I made sure it fit tight. Then I put the frame around it. Uh, as you can see on the inside, I did the, uh, the same kind of uh, uh, Craig uh, pocket hole uh, to secure the top of the frame and uh, when I had the when I had the top on I set the frame down on, on it and I put a couple uh, two and a half inch screws in um, then I double checked to make sure it wasn't going through the uh, the inside sticking out anywhere um, so I got that done uh, I held the front and the back on and now I'm going to head and put a few more screws in just to just to secure it all up uh, get it all good and snug and tight. Uh, I'll dry fit it to uh, figure out where I want to put the hinges. Um, then I'll go ahead and, and finish off the the, um, the top of it. And uh, also down on my lower part there, I'll go ahead and cut the, the bottom of that for um, uh, the boards that, that, that make that bottom shelf. Um, after that, it's just a matter of sanding and uh, uh, putting a, uh, some sort of stain on it and then I'll uh, finish up with the hardware and after that it will be done. So I'll give you another shout out when I have a little more progress done and uh, we'll continue on. All right, got the stain on and the hardware on. Um, added uh, casters on the bottom, uh, figured out a outdoor cup Thing that I can take on and off uh, for the bottle cap. Uh, put a, a clear urethane stain on it. I think that brings out the uh, finish of the cedar wood fairly nicely. The handles on both sides um, so you can move it around nice and easily and the casters have a lock on them so if you want to lock the wheels so it doesn't move. The drain is on. That came out pretty good. Three hinges on the back. Um, you could probably go with two or even a piano continuous hinge if you wanted, but uh, I kind of like the black hardware and I think it looks pretty decent for an amateur. And uh, there you go. Top opens up, waited to be filled, waiting to be filled with ice and, and beer and the first party. So uh, we'll, hopefully it won't be too long and we'll have a cold one. So that's how I did the outdoor cedar ice chest.